Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading, right? Just checking into the energies. I am pre-recording this late, little late night reading for you guys because um, I do have some plans later. So um, yeah, but I, I think I'm going to do a moon box reading, okay? I'm being led to the moon box. So um, yeah, let's do it. First, I'm going to check your person's energy, though and see where their emotions are the one on your mind what's going on how they feel about you and what's going on behind the scenes right let's do it anyway collective thank you so much for everything all of the likes your subscribes thank you for joining this awesome soul tribe out here i love this soul tribe um and um Thank you to everybody new here, too. Welcome. I'm Becca. It's nice to meet you. Um, and uh, yeah, as usual, you guys, collective readings, you can be any sign for a collective reading. If something pulled you into a title, there's something in it for you. But just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, right? Don't try to force anything. All right, so divine, the person that's on the collective's mind, right? What do, uh, what do they feel? How are, how are they feeling about the collective and the situation? Oh boy. Okay. At first I was hoping it was their energy, but it's not. Um, they're actually seeing you pull your energy back, right? and disconnect from this connection okay they're seeing you making a like really bold moves here i feel like this person is seeing you in a way they've never seen you before um you're not the same person that you were before this journey's changed you quite a bit um you've you've healed and you're ready now for new adventures you're ready for a new phase in your life you're enthusiastic and this confidence man this confidence and bold moves here that you're making, um, I feel like this person is kind of amazed by everything that you're accomplishing and everything that you have become, okay? They're just, I've, I get this feeling of amazement and they're realizing, man, they could have had wish fulfillment with you. This balloon is a wish. And they had you at one point and just let you slip right through their fingers. And now they're looking at you in this, like, um, it's, it's almost like they're looking at you with awe, like, wow, wow, you know? Um, it almost feels like disbelief. The things that you're accomplishing out here, whatever you're doing, you're very masterful at it. Um, but you, you're just out here having a victory on a glow up taking leaps of faith, bold, making bold boss moves out here. And this person, they know what they lost. They, and they let you go. They had you at one point, but they let you go. Now this person may feel stuck somewhere um, in a situation, or maybe they just, uh, they, they don't believe that they'll get another chance with you. Okay, they're very discouraged because they see you leaving the scene either energetically or you could even be making some kind of house move here um definitely enthusiastic and excited for um a new future like you're you're doing great without them and they can see that um i feel like this person hasn't learned their lessons there's two bike pictures in this deck two bike cards one where the training wheels are off and somebody's moving forward and this one where this person is down i feel like they haven't done their work yet they haven't learned the lessons they don't know how to ride this bike and um yeah they're feeling like you're leaving leaving them behind this could be somebody who's in jail as well but that's not for all of you they may be stuck and trapped um in another connection they're very compassionate about how they treated you. Like this person knows that they hurt you. Okay. Um, or it could be that in order to get stuck, they would have to hurt somebody else. Clarify compassion. Yeah, they're angry at this situation. They're feeling really sad because they're losing you. I feel like this person is afraid of hurting somebody else. 
they also know how they hurt you, but they see how you've healed. And now I feel like they're angry um, at themselves here for getting them in a bad situation because now they're going to have to, they're, they're, I feel like this person's afraid to hurt somebody else. Okay, so they're feeling this pressure because they already hurt you and you're leaving. And they, they're, they're stuck in a situation because they don't want to hurt somebody else. It's okay to hurt you, but not whoever else they're with, right? And um, yeah, this person, I feel like they're, they broke your trust here in the past. Um, and now they just want to pop up at you. Like if you saw this person out in public or you could be shopping or going to an event or something like that, social gathering, this person would come right up at you, you know? But I don't feel like they're having a hard time hurting somebody else and leaving somebody else behind. They, they didn't have a problem doing that to you, but they have a problem doing it with whoever they're with. I don't like that feeling. I think that's BS. You know, this person's really ashamed. Um, maybe they're even a bit fearful and feeling a bit humiliated by the person that they're currently with, but they don't, you know... I feel like this person could be, um, I kind of feel like whoever they're with is a bit of a tyrant, I got to say. Maybe they're just afraid to communicate the truth or afraid to um, make whoever they're with feel hurt because they'll lash out at them. I don't know. But like I said, I don't like the fact that they didn't have a problem hurting you and breaking your heart and betraying you and backstabbing you and ghosting you. But this person's afraid to walk away from somebody else that they don't want. That's a problem. You know, all they do now is sit and long for you. That's it. This person may have a, a photo of you that they look at. They may even be like writing, writing you a letter, text messages that they never send. Maybe they're reading your text messages, looking at your pictures doing nothing but thinking about you. Yeah, I just see that as like, a, that's just, it kind of feels like a bit of a slap in the face. You know what I mean? That this person doesn't want to, they don't want to hurt whoever they're currently with that they can't stand, right? Um, but they had no problem wrecking your heart. Okay, I, I don't like that. Yeah, there, and look, and this is what I'm talking about. This is the worst card out of all of my decks, all of them. It sets me off, you guys. This is what they did to you. Um, I feel like you were publicly humiliated. Um, you were put in a, a horrible, heartbreaking third-party situation, and you were blamed for it. I feel like they, this person, um, the whole community was talking about you, okay? Um, but not one single person came to your side to help, not one. Out of a whole community of people who you probably gave your love to and supported in the past, not one of them even came towards you with the truth. I feel like this person hurt you and threw you to the wolves. I've been, I've been picking up on that. And now they're realizing they're in love with you and they're longing for you. But now they're afraid to hurt whoever they're with. And I, f I find that totally not flipping cool. It's, it's complete backwards of what it should be. They, this person should have defended you. They shouldn't have treated you that, that way to begin with. And here they're afraid to hurt the same kind of person who is... I mean, they threw you to the wolves. Whoever they're with is like the wolf, you know? One of the wolves. It, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but... Uh-uh. Yeah, they're panicky here. They're feeling panicky. Some days this person doesn't even want to get out of bed. They're very frustrated. They're out of time. There's a house move that they're going to have to make in order to break free from whoever they're currently with, right? That they're more concerned about than you. 
I don't, I don't, I don't like this person's energy. I got to say, I might not even put this out there. I, I just, I find it, um, it, it is kind of insulting when you look at it that way. Okay. They can do all of this to you and let this happen to you. They allowed this to happen. Okay. But yet they don't want to break it off with the person that they're currently with. All right, so let's see what messages the divine has out of the moon box. Okay, I'm going to shake it up. So cover your ears. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, that's a lot. This one stuck to my hand, so we're going to read that one first. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, you know what? I feel, your person feels like a, a clown. They feel like a clown right now. And honestly, um, I, I, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I, I just feel like, you know, um, as they should, right? Because this is complete backwards. And um, yeah, I feel like the, their wheel of fortune has been delayed a little bit here. But um, they're finally, they're going to break free from a, a toxic situation or that's what the universe wants, right? This is the universe talking here, that something needs to change. There has to be forward movement. You can't sit in stagnancy forever and the universe isn't going to wait for you forever either, okay? Um, things, the wheel constantly is like turning, I feel. Either it can go in one direction or the other. And I feel like um, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, Collective, because of all you've had to endure and all the effort you put into yourself. But um, I, I kind of get the sense that this person is headed for some really bad luck and karma um, if they don't do the right thing, okay? What is this one? This was the one that stuck to my hand. And you're receiving more brilliant gifts, okay? I feel like as you move forward, the divine is providing you with everything you need in your new journey, in your new phase in your life. And that means you may need some, um, some of your abilities. You may need to have those heightened, okay? Uh, you may even notice that you're, you're getting some new abilities, right? Um, it has something to do with all of your senses. Like, I feel like you're, all of your senses are just tingling right now. Um, yeah, you're kind of getting worked on by the divine because you are starting something new here. Um, and you may also be getting some messages from the divine regarding maybe a poss possible house move um, or maybe starting a new project, Okay. Here's this masculine, but he's coming upside down. Um, I feel like they're trying to hang on to something that's already dead, okay, and over. And that would be their connection with whoever individual that they're currently with. They're watching you like a hawk, just so you know. They're watching pretty much every move you make. I saw this as doom. I don't know why I read it as doom when I picked it up. So this person, I'm telling you, they're going to be getting their karma, okay, um, just for not doing, not being in the upright, right? They're not doing the right thing here. They're, they, it's almost like they're treating something that, that is already dead as a bigger priority than a blessing. It's like a slap in the face, I'm telling you. Enough to share doesn't mean you have to. Here's the thing, you know... I feel like a collective, this person will eventually come towards you, but that doesn't mean that you have to choose them. If this is a twin flame soulmate, that doesn't mean that you have to um, that you have to be with them, that you have to choose to to um, reunite, right? I feel like this person though, they're being urged towards you to do the right thing. Quit slap in the face of the divine right? Because you were a blessing and this person is just, they're still treating you like you're not, like you're, like you're close to nothing here. If everything else is a priority, including something that's dead and gone, 
Oh my gosh, I'm sorry you guys. It just makes me feel disgusted, okay? But yeah, I feel like you do have enough. You have you have enough abundance, you have enough high vibes. You have a lot of spiritual gifts, but that doesn't mean you have to share them with this person. I feel like the divine is already calling out that maybe they don't deserve you if they're going to treat everything else as a priority, except for you. Okay, to soulmate connection. I feel like you have somebody new coming into the picture. Okay. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. When I picked this up, I saw all this water, this blue. The night. Yeah, this is something that you don't see coming, okay? What you don't know is um, you have a new soulmate connection being sent to you here. It just hasn't arrived yet, okay? Spread the word. Yeah, you're a light worker energy out here. Um, speak in your truth. You may not be a light worker, but I feel like you are. I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine, okay? Um, and I feel like you have a purpose here, and that is to tell your story. Speak your truth. It'll resonate with other people. You can help guide them. That's what I feel like, and maybe that's the new creative project that you're being led to create, okay? Possibly some kind of platform or podium, something in the public eye, some kind of spiritual instruction. Or maybe it could be something like writing a book about your life, telling people about your experiences, whatever, right? I feel like you're being led, though, to do something with all these brilliant gifts, you know? And I feel like it's going to bring you somehow to a new soulmate connection, Oh, this one wanted to fall, so we're, we'll read that one next. Um, yeah, it's going to take some self-discipline. So um, I just feel like there's there's still a lot to learn, right? You're, you may need to work on a schedule or motivation, something that's going to motivate you. Um, keep up with it, too. Stay consistent with whatever it is that you're starting and trying to grow. I feel like, too, they, the divine wants you to continue to self-discipline. That's continue to, continuing to be obedient to the divine, having faith that they're leading you. Listen, and, listen to your intuition. Trust the messages you're getting from them, okay? They're trying to lead you. Yeah, there's a bigger plan here that you're not aware of. Some of you may feel very disheartened when it comes to the love department, right? Um, it seems like in the past people weren't real with you, didn't treat you like you were worthy or something. Um, I feel like there's a bigger picture here, and we're not supposed to know all of it right away. It would fry our brains, okay? But the divine is in control here. And I feel like um, this, this person here could have even been a karmic individual, okay? And you could be about to meet your true twin. Um, I feel like the divine just wants you to be obedient, listen to the messages, trust your intuition, and have faith. Have, um, like, try to think positive about your love life, okay? Done. Yeah, I feel like this connection over here is finished. Some of you may even be thinking to yourself, I'm just done with love in, in general, you know? Um, no one seems to be approaching you or treating you right. But here's the thing. You, you don't see this new connection coming in. You just don't see it. All right? And once you meet this new person, I feel like they're going to change everything about how you thought about love. They're going to love you the right way. This is somebody that the divine is bringing in that's handpicked for you here. <laughs> okay? Yeah, so ha try to remain positive about your love life, all right? Yeah, look, a new soulmate connection. You could just meet somebody. Like, I could see somebody going out to eat or something like that um, alone, and all of a sudden somebody sits down at your table with you. You know, it, you could just bump into somebody, but this is a two of cups, a past life soulmate connection. You're, you could very well be about to meet the real twin flame. 
maybe this is something that you had to learn your lessons with, right? Now some of you are, um, are okay being alone, you know, because you're loving on yourself. You give, your own, you give yourself the respect and consideration you deserve. Maybe that was a lesson you had to learn, right? And now you're ready for the right person for you. Good job. Like, for real, this is something to be excited about, even though some of you are like, uh, you know, it's not for me, or something like that. I've been hurt. I've been put through too much. That kind of thing. No, think positive about your love life, because this new person coming in, they're going to love you in a way you've never been loved before. Okay? I'm telling you. Leaders, because you guys are leaders. I, I feel like, you know, this is a twin flame coming in, I got to say. This is your true twin coming in. This past person, they may be in love with you. They may be longing for you. But I feel this past person was just a karmic to teach you a lesson. And now your true twin is coming in. You guys will be able to join forces, right? Um, work on these projects together. Learn more about your spirituality together. So you can help, or so you together you can be leaders of this new world. Okay? really that you have a huge purpose here i'm getting the chills <laughs> um because you guys are you uh, the, look the light workers the chosen ones are the flyest fly on the wall man i feel like um you're just the flyest right and i feel like fly on the wall you're very intuitive um it's almost as if um you just know what's going on behind the scenes, okay? You just know what it is. Some of you can hear what's happening. Some of you can get visions of what's happening behind the scenes. You just know, okay? I'm talking to light workers out here, and you're about to meet your real twin flame. So I'm telling you, get ready for this person. They're going to be different from everything that you're used to. Heating up. Things are heating up right now, okay? Um, things are simmering. I feel like everything's about to start happening or something could be popping off here. I, I just feel like this is divine timing and it's almost like you've been kind of in stagnancy, like that wheel's been holding back a little bit and now it's turning. Things are heating up. The energy is moving, okay? You're about to see new people come into your life here your manifestations are about to come into reality yeah because you're chosen you're carefully chosen your hand picked and the divine has someone hand picked for you that they're bringing you together i cannot make this up you guys okay you are a chosen one a light worker okay a spiritual being and you're endlessly entertaining. I feel like, you know, you could be in the public eye. If you have a platform, you're going to notice it just um, take off, right, in the next month or so. It's going to, business is going to be good. Whatever you're doing, people are going to be kind of like flocking to you for more, okay? They're going to be loving what you're doing out here. I, I'm kind of getting the sense the divine is, is, giving you messages of a new project to start with these abilities that you have and it's just going to take off okay it, you're going to have a, a big following of people because you are here's the thing yeah they're inspiring you to create this project or whatever this is um could be a spin-off off off of a last project or something but you're an inspiration. This is also light worker energy, that muse energy, right? An inspiration for other people. It could be anything. Like I said, you, you come out here with these experiences, right? And you, you talk about them or you tell other people or um, just touching people. For some of you, that energy, um, it can change somebody's life. Okay. Sometimes for some of you, all you have to do is look at someone in the eye and smile at them. And it's something they never forget. You're raising vibrations. You're inspiring others by whatever it is that you're being inspired to do. It's beautiful. 
okay? Um, beautiful energy. Yeah, and some nasty people. Uh, there's nasty people in the background, okay, um, that are upset over your dreams of happiness. Um, it could be whoever this person is with. It could be a whole, like, it could be a group of family members, a community, friend group, exes. I feel like as, just know, as you go into this new phase in your life, the divine is, is giving you everything that you need. They're equipping you with everything you need um, to succeed in this next phase in your life, okay? Um, but as you do that, like the more you succeed, the more haters you're going to have, right? That's how you know you're doing well, <laughs> right? So just know that as you venture into this new beginning for yourself, um, you may have more haters than you did before, but it's because the divine is taking you higher, okay? They're taking you higher. Um, this can also be manifesting, so you could start seeing your manifest uh, things that you wanted and dreamed of are coming towards you, okay? Opportunities, yeah, because you're getting the bag. People are going to be jealous, too, because you're going to become very abundant here very quickly, okay? very very quickly you're the it bag you're making bank out here too whatever it is that you're doing um people are gonna you're gonna start noticing people wanting to get close to you people wanting to know more about you people wanting to know how you're doing what you're doing um you walk into a room and people are gonna be just like all eyes on you right because you are the it bag all right Smashed to pieces. Yeah, somebody, there's going to be a hater that wants to ruin this for you. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to, they're, it's almost like they're slamming their fist down on something. I feel like somebody is going to be just angry. At, but they're not going to be able to ruin what God wants for you, okay? What the divine is leading you to, you're, you, they can't stop you from that. This is already torn up. Yeah, see, you're on a glow up, and people want to tear that apart. They want to tear it down, but they're not going to be able to. This is why you're being equipped with, with heightened senses, so you can sense this energy, so you can protect yourself, right? I feel like the divine wants you to kind of be on the move, too. They want you to reach other people here. So, yeah, a lot of messages here. Let's see what else into the past. I feel like the past is going, this past person will come back around eventually here. But I feel like by that time it's going to be too late. Yeah, because they, they do have compassion about how they hurt you or they're going to realize that they feel bad for how they hurt you. But still, you know. Like I said before, I feel like other people are a priority. I feel like by the time this person comes towards you, it's going to be too late. You'll already be with a new soulmate connection, I'm telling you. Yep, the perfect, re they're waiting for the right time or the perfect reason to get together. See, but uh, here's the thing, they're like waiting this out. Maybe they're waiting for the right opportunity. They're waiting for a sign from you. I don't know. They seem to need a reason to get together with you. And you know what? I guess what wasn't hurting you and needing to apologize a big enough of a reason. So I don't like this person's energy, I got to say. They're starting to kind of tick me off a little bit. Yeah, it's going to crumble for them, though. Every time I see dominoes, I think about how they're always set up and one little tap makes everything fall. And this person is going to fall flat on their face here. Because, you know, you're, you're a divine being and they're not even treating you um, with an ounce of consideration. Well, they, you know what I mean? Everything else is a priority except for you. I feel like this person is going to be coming forward, though, to tell you the truth, because they're being led to close out the cycle and do the right thing. Um, I feel like they are going to come towards you with a confession here and an apology,
but it may be a while. And in that amount of time, and this is, I feel like this is why it's all happening this way. Uh, I feel like this person is kind of holding themselves back. It's all about divine timing, okay? They're giving you actually the time and a chance to get to know somebody else. They just don't realize it. In holding back away from you, that is the divine's window of opportunity to have you meet your real person. And by the time your ex comes towards you with this honesty and apology and confession, it's going to be too late. Yeah. And everything is going as it should as far as divine timing. They're in charge. But yeah, you're, you're about to literally glow up fast, okay? You are going to be looked at as the it bag, but that means you may have more haters, right? Um, but the divine is, sorry about that, the divine is equipping you with everything you need. I want to say equipping you, right? Um, because it is like they're handing you a platter of equipment that you can use in your new cycle. That's what they're doing to prepare you for what is to come, okay? So, yeah, get ready, collective. Things are about to start moving and shaking really fast, I got to say. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you dig this vibe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.